I never watched Dragon Ball Z growing up, and to live that experience, I've decided to go back to the game adaptation and play the entire story in hopes of getting the Platinum Trophy. With the grand total of 42, we begin our first one with a fight against Piccolo. We begin with a tutorial mission, as to introduce us to this game's fighting mechanics. How do I come away, huh? I found myself already liking how this game turned out, as the fighting feels pretty detailed with a bunch of mechanics that have their own time and place to be used. Oh snap! I just like cut through his thing? That's so cool. And I got an S rank. Winning this fight would net us our first trophy. Whoa, what was that? Pretty cool, right? See, I'm not a fan of the trophy art they have for this game. It's pretty generic. So I've taken it upon myself to create custom art for every one of these. Feel free to let me know if you think this was a good idea. I don't know about you, but I think that deserves a subscribe. Next up, the game would introduce us to some core systems that I would really appreciate. <laughs> this is a fast forward button. If I just hold... <laughs> <laughs> they, it's like they know we don't care for this stuff, bro. Now look at this, man. I can hear the waterfall over here. I'm playing as Goku. The game looks amazing, bro. Try out some tail fishing. Hey, yo, he got the gear. Yo, flying Nimbus. I mean, I see this thing right here. From the OG show. Tell me more. Unlock an entry in the Z Encyclopedia. We head over to Master Roshi's place where we would get introduced to the concept of training. Oh. I can do training and learn new moves? That's so cool to feed Krillin. All right, let me beat your ass, Krillin. A newfound power, as well as completing side quests for characters. Looks like that did the trick. Helping hand. As all of this was going down, an alien from outer space would crash land on Earth. Feeling an abnormal surge of power, Piccolo goes over to investigate. Not being the one that he was looking for, he takes us on in a fight. Bro, I'm having a great time, I'm not gonna lie. If this is an anime game right here, man. No, I die, 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 die! Oh my god, bro! The alien brushed past us and reveals to us that he's Goku's older brother and that Goku is actually an alien named Kakarot. He wipes the floor with us and kidnaps Gohan. Feeling lost and angry, Goku swears to take revenge, but an unexpected ally appears. Goku and Piccolo form a truce in order to take down the alien invader. This looks so cool! Right, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight! Oh my gosh! This fight with Raditz would initiate my first ever boss battle. And here I learned that fighting boss battles are nothing like fighting mobs. They have their own special moves. Dodge, 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 dodge. Which means you can't win by brute force alone. You have to learn to dodge and maneuver your way around their attacks. Whoa, 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 you folks up. Goku wins the fight, but at a great cost. Raditz became too much to handle, and in order to defeat him, Goku had to sacrifice himself, causing him to die in front of his son and causing some lifelong trauma. But that's okay! He used it as motivation and took it out on these robots that were terrorizing a bunch of people. A dark omen! We earned this trophy for defeating our first villainous party. We are going to have to defeat a lot more and a secret final boss in order to get the platinum trophy. And being that I had the genius idea of setting this game to hard, beating that boss would be nightmare fuel. Now back to the present, we would be facing Nappa after him and Vegeta crash landed on Earth, hearing about Raditz's defeat. Gohan, Krillin, and Piccolo would band together to fight him, and it was through fighting together in the form of assist attacks we would get this trophy. The power of friendship! We would clear Nappa, Goku would hit the revive button, and have the legendary face-to-face -face with Vegeta. Goku has come back to us stronger than he was before with a new form called the Kaioken. And in this game, it allows us to toggle that on and off whenever we feel like it. We would take it further and activate our Kaioken and our burst simultaneously. Little did I know that finishing the fight while doing this would cause a special cutscene. What? Super finish? After defeating Vegeta, Goku would decide to spare him, concluding the Saiyan arc and earning us a trophy as well. We are now in what the game calls intermissions. Intermissions being periods of free time between sagas and the main story. We can use this time to collect items, train, or complete mini slash sub stories. So for us, that means we're gonna go ahead and earn ourselves some trophies. The first one was easy and we earned it because King Kai sent us a telepathic message. The voice in my head, receive a telepathic message from King Kai. The second one was a cool mechanic I accidentally stumbled on. Oh, this whole enemy. Not worth my time. Get an instant victory on an enemy. That's crazy. That's another like hitting mechanic this game has. I love. I'm in love. The third one was through getting groceries and making a full course meal. A cool mechanic in the game. Eating food actually permanently makes us stronger. Oh, 
Oh, there's nothing like a home cooked meal. Damn, bro, that's fire! Look at all that protein. I wish, I wish I could eat like that. The last one was thirsty for knowledge, which was just unlocking more entries in the Z Encyclopedia by doing various different things. Warning: Fire key blasts defeat the dinosaurs. Yo, daddy. Yeah, you run away from me now. It's like some Scooby Doo looking. <laughs> it's like Scooby Doo, bro. It's like one second he's facing after me, and then I'm facing after him. <laughs> just die, 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 die. Thirsty for knowledge. What the heck? What did I do? Bad information out of the way. We can now move on to the Frieza saga. The Frieza saga has Vegeta make a return. Only this time he's in it for himself. He wishes to use the Dragon Ball to grant himself immortality, but he can't do that without first rebelling against the people he's worked for. One Galakon. Two Galakon. Three Galakon. Four. Oh, that did a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so much. No. Of course he's eating his ults. No! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose. There's no way I'm winning. No way I'm winning. There's no way I'm winning. There's no way I'm winning. Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Okay, not charge at him. We need. Oh my gosh! He went straight into another move. Oh my gosh! No! No! It's so close! Ah! Oh no! Is he countering? One more. Kill him! Yes! Oh my god! We did it! Damn, bro, he looks so elite. Meanwhile, Gohan and the others are in danger of being destroyed by Frieza's task force. However, just in the nick of time, Goku arrives to save Gohan. And shows off all of the training that he's been doing in between sagas. Now, I know I'm going to be fighting Frieza soon, and with this game set on hard, I can't afford to be under-trained. So, I head on over to the training grounds and begin making way to get new moves. However, upon opening the training menu, I find that I can't do anything. It's because I have a shortage of a currency called D-Metals. So, instead, what I decide is to go out and hunt for some of these metals. Oh, look! It's a D-Metal right here. Just to wander around and hope to randomly find it. Oh, I guess that works, because look, I, I just already found another one. So, we just need, we need one more after this. Let's just, let's just keep hunting for some more, energy. honestly, while I'm doing this. Hey, another D-Metal. <gasps> Metal Madness! Collect 10 D-Metals. I didn't realize that was for a trophy, but I'm glad. Now that I'm finally all trained up, I come face to face with the boss, Frieza himself. We take him on in a 1v1. Goku versus Frieza! Battle begins! Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, I see how it is. I see how it is. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Kaioken. Then, I'm gonna combo that with Burst. Then, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna spam Super Thunder in half. Oh my gosh, I'm so focused right now, guys. It's crazy. Die! That's it. Bro, I popped off in this fight. With Goku and the others celebrating Frieza's defeat, letting their guard down, he emerges once more and makes them regret this fatal mistake. Oh my gosh. Enraged, Goku could not believe what had just happened in front of him. And the game animates one of the most iconic scenes in the anime. Hell, one of the most iconic scenes in all of anime. Oh my gosh, did I get to play with that? Bro, this game done so well. Oh my god, look at the lighting and the sh the coloring. Gosh, I get to play as Ooh, brother. Come on, that was super coming, huh? Boom! Oh my gosh! Yo! Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh, shoot! Bro, look at that. He's vomiting. Screw it! I'm attacking you anyways. We managed to defeat Frieza. Goku gets up on his ship and makes his way back to planet Earth, concluding the saga. No teasers. Emperor no more! You'd think by this point we'd already be used to everything this game has to offer, but nope, we would be pleasantly surprised. Oh, what? The Dragon Balls are mythical orbs that can grant anything that heart desires. When you've collected all seven of them, you'll be able to make a wish from the Dragon Ball menu. I want to do that. Is that, is that on my Dragon Radar? Dragon Ball location? It is. We'd have to explore the huge open world to find it. We'd find them in forests, mountains, deserts, caves, enemy bases, and islands. Oh, there we go. First wish. 
Wishmaker, oh, I did get a trophy for it. And there's an animation. Afterwards, playing as Vegeta, we'd go ahead to Master Roshi's house and begin some of our training. These would be severe quality of life upgrades, like upgrading our Gallic gun to a super Gallic gun. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory why that's better. Now, this training actually turned out to be really hard, so what I decided to do was to cop out and go ahead to the market and buy some healables. That way, I could just keep popping them so they'll never lose. It was well done. It was a good effort. Oh my gosh. Duh! <laughs> Highly skilled! We actually got a trophy for all that! I know, I know. It's pretty cheesy, but to make up for it, I won't allow myself to do these for some of the boss battles. That way, there's actual challenge because I can just spam by these and never have to worry about dying. But I'm not gonna do that to you guys. Now that we're all trained up, things seem to go pretty smoothly. And we heard that Goku's arriving soon. However, we detect a dangerous and very familiar aura coming back to planet Earth. Oh man, it's Frieza! He's back! And he called his dad on him! He really told on us, bro. Just before we had a chance to deal with it, a mysterious visit arrives we got the drip god himself trunks cleans up and fashionably eliminates everybody not too soon after goku arrives on planet earth and within minutes of landing back on earth trunks asks like him for a casual right fight now. without questioning it goku complies and they begin fighting damn we're going super saiyan burst this fight is so in high intensity, man. After their fight, Trunks reveals to us that he's actually from the future. And in the future, everybody is dead. And hearing that news, our main cast decides to train up, preparing for the incoming danger. In the midst of this whole preparation stage, we'd be forced to do some side missions. And because of doing those side missions, we'd earn ourselves our first golden trophy for unlocking a bunch of entries in the Z Encyclopedia. We've been offered a sparring match with Piccolo and Gohan. Okay, Gohan, I see you. I see you. Oh, shit, they're a good team, bro. Just me, Goku, father of the year, beating the stuffy out of my son who I haven't seen for over a year and his father figure who took over in my place. Sorry, Gohan. You pushed me this far. <laughs> I blasted him off the face of the earth. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Gohan. Some time has passed, and now the androids have crash landed. The time has come. And oh man, do we go through one of the most annoying boss fights we've had to face in this entire run. What the heck, man? Energy drain, watch out! Fuck! Now he's back to three health bars. This would turn into a dreadful loop of me trying my hardest, only for him to appear out of nowhere and drain my health. It would happen over and over and over again. It would feel like this fight would never end. Alright, we need to chill out. Cause he's gonna go up, he's gonna try to my, take my health now. Haha, <laughs> I got you this time, you annoying little- Oh my gosh, chill, 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 chill. No! What was I supposed to do there? Ah! All the energy drinks that I bought are coming to waste. Ooh! I've learned from my mistake this time, I'm not going there. Got him! Woo! Vegeta, however, is now in a whole different tier. He finally unlocked Super Saiyan. And mopping up all of the competition. Now, this seems a little too easy for the cast. This could not have been what they were preparing for. And just as they thought, it wasn't. It's revealed that there are actually three more androids. Android 16, 17, and 18. Who would dust us? The only person who really takes a W is Krillin as he risks up one of the androids. <laughs> See ya. Now, if you like how the final boss changed, well, it happens again because these androids actually aren't even the final bosses. It's an anomaly. Somebody who didn't exist in Trunks' prophecy but exists now. He actually eats these androids and becomes stronger. Now, before we can prevent him eating another one, out of pride, Vegeta stops Trunks in hopes of letting this new anomaly called Cell become even stronger, and he would regret that because he would lose him right after. We go ahead and lock ourselves up in training. With a full in-game year having passed, Gohan is now stronger than ever. Look at him, bro. He ain't a kid no more. Before we begin the boss fight of this arc, we earn two miscellaneous trophies along the way. The first one is for earning 100 D medals, and the second one is for receiving a bunch of telepathic messages from King Kai. When we would fight Cell in what he calls the Cell Games. Hey, the squad pulled up. The Cell Games is a tournament that he made that everyone has an opportunity to kill him. If they, they fail, fail, he will destroy the planet. planet. Now, first up, we fight as Goku. Oh, man, was this fight nightmare fuel. I followed through on my promise that I made earlier, and I regret it. 
No horribles! Ah, no! 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, goodbye. I got, I got my awakening a second time. Come on. You might be able to do this, actually. Oh no. Impact smash. This move always kills me. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, Steve's up. Oh, side step. Good shit. Good shit. I'm too scared to attack him unless I can. Unless it's like. Okay, actually, I got this. Oh. Nope. I knew it. Now I can attack. Yes! Let's go! It is now up to Gohan to take on Cell. And before we do so, Cell disrespects and stomps Android 16 out of existence. Gohan didn't let that slide and would unlock a transformation even more powerful than his father's. Damn, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. After beating Cell, he says F this and decides to blow up the planet. So Goku, being the hero that he is, decides to sacrifice himself again. Please, Goku, no! Did Goku kill him in that explosion? No way, I have to search this up. <laughs> Goku killed him, bro. King Kai took him in to train him, and Goku came back and killed him and that one monkey that lives there. Bro, that's so funny. Multiform, this dude just learned Shadow Clone? Let's kill this one, and that's- I think that's all the clones dead. I'm gonna defeat you! Oh! Hit him with the blue lock kick! Aha! Uh -huh. I already know. I fought him a lot with Goku in that one fight. To know how to dodge with all of his attacks. Ah! Ooh, I tanked his attack just to do mine. With that magnificent fight out of the way. It is now up to Gohan to finish, but he believes he doesn't have any power. Thankfully though, Goku lent him his energy from heaven, and with their father-son Kamehameha, they wipe out Cell for good, leaving a dramatic finish for this saga. Hey, Earth New Champion! We decide to spend this intermission farming for some more Dragon Balls. And those are all the Dragon Balls. We can't spam hunt the Dragon Balls, they take time to come back. In the anime world, it takes a year, but in the game, it takes 20 minutes. Now begin the final saga. A few years have passed by, and Gohan is now an adult. He's in college. Play ball! A Super Warrior is born. Acquire 100 Super Attacks or Masteries in the Super Attack Skill Tree. Honestly, this whole beginning of the saga was lackluster compared to the madness that happens later on. So I'm gonna just skip to there. Vegeta is evil. I mean, again. And amongst the chaos, I forget to hit record and I would start another chaotic, infuriating boss fight. I have not been recording this freaking time. I have not been recording this whole time. Okay, to catch you guys up to speed, I am now fighting Majin Vegeta, all right? Furthermore, I have a perk that increases my damage by 20%. However, it decreases my health throughout the match. And here we go. Not a good open. So you'll notice at the bottom right that my health bar is slowly decreasing. Bing bang attack. This attack is annoying. I dodge, bro. See, I, how do I dodge those? How do I dodge big bang attack? I'm, I'm one shot at this point. And we'll close in some distance. It's so scary fighting with one health. Hoo, ha! Hoo, ha! Ha! Come on! Come on! Come on! One shot! Come on, we can pretend this is a no damage run, bro! Oh my gosh! We're getting there! Ah, he's been a weekend, I can't not get- I cannot get touched! Oh my gosh! <laughs> run! Run! This is not hard difficulty, by the way! Oh my god! Ah! Big bang attack, one backwards! We can move in a little bit closer. Okay, he's using final flash. Come on! He's almost dead! He's almost dead! Yes! Ooh. <laughs> one shot. I was at one health for so long. Now, throughout these sagas, we'll notice that Vegeta's been taking L's. Keeps coming back and doing some dirty trick. However, this time, he's tired of taking L's. He hugs his son one last time. This time, he will sacrifice his life for the greater good. And we get one of the most dramatic and awesome showdowns ever. That was 
Wow, that was intense. They remastered that scene so freaking well. But it's Dragon Ball. Nobody ever really dies, and we come back to fight the final boss of the story mode, Kid Buu. Now, this isn't the actual final boss. There is still that secret one in the end. And although this one was really challenging... Oh my gosh, you did so much damage in such a short amount of time. We were doing so well. Oh, of course, and just do that shit again. Yep, yep. Ah! Blasted me through the freaking. <sighs> Let's end this! Ah! Come on, we can beat him! What a climactic way to win the fight! Oh my gosh! Let's go! And that kills him! With the planet finally saved once again, we would conclude the story mode. We did it! We beat the story! But we're not done yet. We still have a lot to cover. In fact, the post story was filled with Easter eggs and fun activities to do. I had a blast. Even power wise, I would say we're 75% of our max power. So with that in mind, we still have a lot to cover. However, we are going to be moving at a much faster pace. We begin with Excavator, a trophy that will be given to us for destroying a boulder blocking a cave oh there it is we found one all right so oh, i think we just have to blast it did i do it trophy earned Bruh. oh you just walk up to it? hey i did it excavator now we gotta do that nine more times for a follow-up trophy trophy is this the one is this the one? Oh. Joke? Yes, it is! Demolition Artist! Afterwards, I'd go ahead and be a good Samaritan that help out some people that need it through side missions. This is hilarious. We gave him Doran. Do-gooder! What is this for? Any complete 10 substory. Getting greedy would be awarded to us after summoning Shenron for the fifth time. Getting greedy! Ow. For this next one, I intended to do the Turtle School trophies. Only, the problem is I had no idea how. So I'd be pleasantly surprised when... What? What did I do? I got a trophy. Complete I didn't. I don't know what I did. Mm, looks like you finished some of your training. I just keep talking to him. Keep giving me rewards. Alright, looks like I, I beat 20. I'm gonna keep talking to him, see if it keeps going. And I got another one. I completed 50. I don't know what they are. What? All right. Looks like I just got three trophies. No idea as to how I got them. Now, remember that cool mechanic I stumbled onto early on? Well, for the trophy can't touch this, we'd have to do it 49 more times for a grand total of 50. Hey, can't touch this. Get 50 instant victories on enemies. Z Combo Zealot needs us to perform 10 Z Combos. If you didn't know, that's those team work together combos that I showed you earlier. So I won't even fight, actually. I'll just goof around, wait for them to recharge. Z Combo. <laughs> We're just beating the life. All three saves are fighting like a level one recovery drone. We didn't even do this much to fight Cell. Hey, buddy, you're screwed. Three go for Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Ready right there. I'm gonna go Super Saiyan. Z Combo Zealot! It's been a while since I've done some training, so I go over to the training grounds, and lo and behold, there was a trophy for that too. Push it to the limit! This next trophy wouldn't be as straightforward as I thought, but I needed to make five full course meals. Hello, don't mind me barging you into your house. I know we don't know- I know we don't talk, but I want you to make me a full course meal. Trophy? You're crazy. All I did was one. Is it this one? How do I not have this? Ah! They have to be different! So now I have to go and unlock different right meals. Here. The seafood course, which we're only missing this, and we just need fish eggs. So maybe I'm gonna go to the ocean and find the fish eggs. Hey, fish eggs! Now we're making the- And with that, that's meal number two of five. I don't have any of the ingredients for this recipe. Recipe, you say? Recipe? Pasta course. I wasn't looking for that, but uh... Damn, okay! <laughs> we just accidentally found a recipe. I'll, I'll take it. Let's see, for this recipe... Oh! Another one. This is the one I'm after, I believe. Hello there, mate. On say your recipe. Hello there. You got a recipe? Ramen and rice. What do you got, old lady? Deluxe pasta. I ain't cooking all that. Now, you. You got any ingredients? Got all the treasures. I'm gonna just, just buy five. You know what? Um, I'm gonna buy three of these. There I go. What on a huge shopping spree. All right. Full course meal. Super complete as well. I got it! Only the finest! Well, my friends, 
I'm off to the capsule corp and getting into this machine building thing. I have not touched it all game. I know I'm gonna get a trophy for building a machine part and for building a robot. So two trophies. And earlier I was grocery shopping and I just bought a bunch of mechanical parts. So maybe I already have everything I need. So Bulma's gonna build something. We'll go to R&D here. So building this, will I think will earn me my first trophy. Yeah, let the building begin. And now by Pewdle Robo Walker, Robot Rider. Now the hover car. Get out of my head and turn into my car. Hope you like that dramatic reading. But we're moving. We're in the end game now. Now, with the secret final boss in sight, we begin taking out some villainous parties. Did I, I just one shot these guys? Finish them off for me, guys. Evil all around. Yeah, I'm glad for that fight was tough. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. It, it seems, seems my calculations, calculations were correct. You will all continue to fight so that I can see the completion of no my No way, match. it's the trick from Xenoverse. Bro, we got Android 21 from Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and now we got Toa and Mira from Dragon Ball Xenoverse. This game. <laughs> so good, man. Oh, Dragon Balls are back. Let's put a pin in that and go watch the Dragon Balls again. And that's the last Dragon Ball. Moving faster and faster, picking these up. Back to fighting the villainous enemies. Purging the plague. So I'm at training room level of seven. I have the items, I have the money, I just need the D medals. All right, and apparently you can get the D medals by playing the mini games, which is pretty cool because it gives me a reason to do the mini games. I'm yet to do any of them. Let's hope it's easy. Play ball. Nice, nice, nice. Shoot, I missed. I missed. I'm trying to get it on the red. Oh, snap. See? Woo! After finally summoning Shenron a total of 10 times, we'd earn a trophy. Whoopee time. Shenron's favorite! Yes, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Yes! Yes! I got it! I don't have to wait 20 more minutes! I got it! We'd meet Android 21. Crazy cameo, by the way. I know this is a direct character taken out of the Dragon Ball Fighter Z game. Win this fight right now, I get the trophy. I don't have to do the level 9 fight. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's just me and my souls? Tough enough. Ooh, we did it. Okay, we are just one trophy away from the platinum, and it is the hardest one. And now we are finally here, the final boss. We would meet the main antagonist from the Dragon Ball Xenoverse games, Mira. I went into this boss fight with confidence, however, I'd be disappointed as I'd find out that this boss has an overwhelming health bar and his defense I'd probably set to the max. No matter how much I fought and no matter how much I damaged him, I hit him with everything I had in my arsenal and it felt like all I can do was barely tick at him. We broke him. Alright. This is it. This is, this is the full power. This is the highest amount of damage you can possibly do to him in one sitting. And it's not even that much. We're not even past his first health bar. Oh my gosh. Oh, listen, his health first health bar is not even done yet. Help me go on. Full power again, boys. Let's blast him. And then combo with a super spirit bomb. Let's go! I died. That didn't hurt me at all. Top, 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 top. No! Uh, he's so fast! What the? No! The game broke! What is going on? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. No! That almost killed me. If I didn't send you being right there. That would have killed me. I'm running out of healables. I'm running out of healables. We're at the finish line. He's almost dead. He's almost dead! Spirit bomb! Vegeta, help! Oh my god, Vegeta, you goat! <laughs> All right, go on, help. Go on, you goat! <laughs> this is... Oh my gosh. Spirit bomb again! Vegeta! Yeah, Vegeta! Vegeta, yeah, you crazy Vegeta, help! I did it! I did it! I beat him! I beat him! 
Oh! <gasps> oh my god, down with the demon rum! Oh my gosh, and with that, the platinum trophy has been earned. Dragon Ball Master. Wow, that fight itself could have lasted like a half an hour. I think it's safe to say that I've gotten a great Dragon Ball Z experience. I was really excited to play this game as I've heard only great things about this. I did, however, hear awful things about the One Piece open world game. Click this video here to see how that was like.